Hey everyone, it's uh, 2nd October and the time is 4.53 p.m. Uh, we are headed to Mumbai, it's 1431 kilometers. Now our aim here is going to be uh, reaching Mumbai in 23 hours and 31 minutes or less. Uh, so let's reset the fuel economy and the trip meter. Uh, this 2300 kilometers is story for another day so just reset it and let's get started so the route we chose was new delhi to gurugram then getting on the delhi mumbai expressway then getting off and heading towards kota from there getting on the second stretch of the expressway and then from there towards Vadodara, Surat and then Mumbai. Now we are uh, driving towards Sohana where we will join the Delhi Mumbai Expressway. Uh, I've heard so much about this expressway and honestly I cannot wait to drive on it. So there is the entrance of the Delhi Mumbai Expressway. Uh, I think almost all the entrances of expressways in the country have a similar design language and that's not a bad thing. But as you can see the sun has just gone down and it looks magnificent with all the lights lit up. Uh, I think we're gonna stop for some time and uh, enjoy this evening. It is a beautiful evening after all and we'll carry on from there. Not just for the looks, but this highway is actually built to international standards. Two stretches of this highway have been opened so far and we are driving on the first one. Roadside amenities like rest area, fuel stations and restaurants are at regular intervals on this stretch. When completed, this 8-lane highway, which can be expanded to 12 lanes, will be 1,350 kilometers long and will reduce the travel time from Delhi to Mumbai to just 12 hours. So we have covered the first 100 kilometers. It took us some time to exit the NCR, but now we are on this buttersmooth Delhi-Mumbai expressway and we are able to hold good speeds here thanks to the speed limit being 120 kilometers per hour. We've got about 1,300 plus kilometers. So stick around till the end of the video where we uh, find out the toll and the fuel cost spent on this journey. We've been getting some crazy bug splatter on the way. Uh, I think it's the time of the year uh, and this all over the windscreen and the car. So we have crossed the 300 kilometer mark. Uh, it came up pretty quickly uh, thanks to the express highway being buttery smooth. For the 200 odd kilometers that we drove, we could hold some really good speeds. And now we have exited uh, the express highway and are heading towards Kota. We got about 1130 odd kilometers and our ETA is 1633.
so we've crossed the 500 kilometer mark uh, now rajasthan is known for having really well maintained highways that coupled with very less traffic is helping us maintain really good speeds uh, we are driving between 80 to 100 kilometers per hour using the upper limit for overtakes that has helped us to achieve a very healthy average speed of 76 kilometers per hour stick around as we just have 951 kilometers to reach mumbai Our very first bottleneck came in form of Mukundra Hills Tiger Reserve just outside of Kota where we had single lane road and quite a bit of traffic. That was certainly not the end of our problems. A little ahead, Google Maps showed us a detour which would save us some kilometers and time. Having got delayed in the Tiger Reserve, we were tempted to take it. And we did. After driving for about a kilometer on broken roads, we ended up on a narrow section of road with cattle and houses all around. We continued hoping this would join the highway ahead. Ultimately, we were on a road that didn't exist on the map and it was a dead end. It was 2 am and we were in no mood to explore more. So we just turned around and traced ourselves back from where we entered. So we have finally reached the highway. Uh, from here we have to drive for about 35 kilometers and then we'll hop on to the second stretch of the expressway. So we are on the second stretch of the expressway. The traffic in the Tiger Reserve, then misdirection from the map, and finally roads under construction. And our average speed is down to 70 from 76 kilometers per hour. Uh, the aim here on the second stretch is uh, to make up as much as we can. Well, the amenities that we spoke about on the first stretch, especially the fuel stations, none of it is active on the second stretch as of now. We were gonna hit reserve in some time and the fuel anxiety was starting to creep in. After driving for about 20 kilometers, we decided to exit to a nearby town as the maps showed a 24-7 fuel station right at the exit of the expressway. Now we have a fuel station right at the exit of this expressway. We'll just uh, go there. Uh, there it is. Uh, we'll go there, uh, refuel and head back to the expressway. So some sort of maintenance work going on and it's closed. Uh, next one is six kilometers away. Let's go there. So finally, we have found an operational fuel station. Uh, we'll fill the diesel here and then we'll carry on with our journey. We 
we filled the diesel and we were just curious about the mileage that it was returning so it's done 795.4 kilometers and we have put 51.01 and that comes up to 15.59 kilometers to the liter so now without wasting much time let's head over to the expressway and continue our journey So we are back on the expressway, uh, it did cost us some time and we've lost our average speed as well. well we're going to take a break for 5 minutes and then we're going to try to make up for the time that we have lost. So we will be exiting the expressway, uh, the second stretch. Well, uh, so far it's completely empty and honestly, we are enjoying it, having it all to ourselves. We have exited the Delhi-Mumbai expressway, the second stretch of it. We've managed to make up uh, some of the lost time. Right now we are on the MP State Highway. Uh, from here, we will cross borders uh, into Gujarat uh, and then uh, we will join the national highway and head to Vadodara. In 600 meters, turn right. So it's the 1000 kilometer update, uh, we've crossed the 1000 kilometer mark, uh, it's taken us 14 hours and 14 minutes to do so. Uh, we've got about 499 kilometers left. The journey so far has been absolutely uh, amazing, uh, apart from the fuel anxiety episode that we had. Uh, right now we are on the NH 47, uh, driving towards uh, Badodra. Uh, from there, we'll head to uh, Surat and from there, we will go to Mumbai. So we have crossed 1,110 kilometers. Uh, we have just crossed Vadodara. Uh, we are heading to Surat right now, which is about 130 kilometers. Uh, from there, we'll uh, move on to Wapi, and from there to Mumbai. So we have uh, crossed Surat, uh, the NH48, uh, although there was a bit of traffic, has treated us well so far. Next stop, it's Mumbai. I've said this before and I'm going to say this again. Driving in this part of Maharashtra, especially during and after the monsoon, is a therapy in itself. We have about 91 kilometers left to reach our destination. Uh, we've crossed 1425 kilometers, 20 hours 34 minutes of drive, an average speed of 69 kilometers per hour.
and that's how we reached mumbai well if you made it this far through the video do give it a like and while you're at it consider subscribing to this channel as well we finally reached andheri uh, it took us 23 hours to reach uh, mumbai from delhi uh, which included a drive of 22 hours and 18 minutes uh, the mileage uh, that is 17.4 kilometers per liter usually it's 1 to 1.5 less than what's displayed uh, so that was our journey and hope you enjoyed it